Fans of the Alabama Crimson Tide aren't particularly fond of the color orange, the color of rivals Tennessee and Auburn. But you might have noticed star Tide wide receiver Kevin Norwood wearing a bracelet in that detested hue for most of the season, a silent tribute to someone he's never met. To be honest, it's been more like a, a good luck charm for me. The bracelet says pray for Braxton, a tribute to eight-year-old Braxton Voss. Over the weekend, he had had a fever on Saturday, um, and by Monday, he was fine, so he went the first day of school. But the fever came back the next day, and on August 20th, 2013, doctors diagnosed Braxton with leukemia. It felt like it wasn't real. Watching Norwood play with his bracelet on has given Braxton quite a thrill, and something his mom says is just as important as medicine, hope. We're just all overwhelmed, I and mean, we did not expect him to do all that. It was amazing. Braxton always wanted to meet Kevin Norwood and Norwood wanted to meet his biggest fan. The two finally did here at the Alabama practice facility earlier this month. What's up Brax? How you doing? Good. It didn't take long for the two to become friends. After a few plays. Touchdown and a lot of pictures, it turns out that Braxton and Kevin have more in common than they knew. They share a common faith. I think Kevin's a good role model because he's a good football player and he looks up to God. You know, it's, it's really nothing for me to, you know, actually want to meet him and want to want to keep wearing a wrist bracelet or whatever. It's just, I think uh, God wants me to do it, you know. And you guys want, God wants me to be the role model for him and actually show him that it takes hard work and a lot of strength to, you know, keep going, keep persevering and stuff like that. And as for the orange bracelets, well, they're certainly not Braxton's favorite color. The king is bad and orange is bad. <laughs> and with a smile on his face, Braxton laughs without worrying about tomorrow. He's so tough and they say, you know, kids are resilient and it's, it's amazing how well he's done. While in remission and with chemotherapy treatments planned for the next three years, Braxton plans to tackle one day at a time. Something that will be a little easier knowing he has a new friend on his side. For the University of Alabama, I'm Katie Malone reporting.